I've got an initialized bowed string oscillator on one layer, and with this type of exciter, it sets the string in self-sustained oscillation. So by the bow moving back and forth, we can sustain the string longer than a simple pluck or hammer strike. And I've got a little pattern playing here, and we're going to look at the controls. Now, let's start with the string module, since these interact together. So we're striking it with a bow, and we can use the decay knob to control the decay time of the string vibrations. So as I dial down the key tracking, it's going to modulate the decay amount, and we'll hear that the lower notes will have a longer decay. Now, as I dial this up, we'll dial the decay time up a bit as well. We'll hear the opposite, where the higher notes have a longer decay. Now, the damping knob sets the amount of high frequencies in the string vibration. As we dial it up, we'll hear more high frequencies, and they'll get muted or muffled as we dial it down. So similarly, as I dial down the key tracking, the low notes will have more high frequencies, in other words, less damping. And if I dial this up and dial the key tracking higher, then the higher notes will have the high frequencies more present. knob affects the decay time of the note when it's released, and it maintains the decay time when it's held. So as I dial it counterclockwise, we're going to decrease the time of the note when it's released. Dialing it up increases the decay time as the note is released. Now, the inharmonic knob detunes the partials, the harmonics that are generated from the fundamental pitch. So as we dial it up, it'll sound more and more out of tune. raises it and makes the partials sharp and out of tune and they're more noticeable with the longer release time. Let's dial this back and see how we can use these controls on the exciter module to influence and affect the way the string is bowed. Now the force knob determines the force with which the bow is applied to the string. So we can hear the force changing as I move it up and down. Now we can modulate this via the range on the keyboard or the velocity. Let's look at the key range. As I dial this down, the lower notes will be played with more force than the higher notes. And let's look at the opposite direction. I'm going to dial this up a little bit more. And I'm going to set the key tracking higher, and the higher notes will be played with more force. Now, the friction knob adjusts the friction between the bow and the string, and it affects the length of the attack. And again, this can be modulated either via the range on the keyboard or the velocities. So let's hear the effects of this. And as I dial this down, all the notes, since they're all similar velocities, will have a heavier friction applied.
And the velocity knob determines the velocity of the bow, meaning the amplitude of the sound, and that can also be modulated. Welcome to String Studio VS3. 